Sometimes the default behavior of Tableau can make you wonder where you can find the missing values when there is no data. For example, if you are showing sales by month here for different products and you want to see sales of one particular product, in that case, when you select a particular product from a filter, you may notice that it's showing sales but not for the month where there are no sales value. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to show items when there is no data in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to show items when there is no data in a Tableau in a time series chart. So as you can see here, we are showing the sales by month and year, which is starting from January 2018 till December 2021. And we are showing all the products in the bar form, bar chart, and on the top, if we select a particular bar chart, a particular product, let's say we select these two products and click apply, you will notice that we are only getting the sales for the month which where we have the sales numbers, right? But for all other months, we are not even showing that. So that's the default behavior of Tableau. But my requirement is to show all the months irrespective of if there are sales or no sales. So how we can do that? So let's create a new blank worksheet. And in this case, I'm using sample superstore data set. And I will bring order date into column shelf. And I want to get the discrete value of month every year. So I will go to month and year selection and I will select custom selection. And I will select here month and year. And I will click OK. And then I will bring the sales. And I want to show the bar chart here. So I will select the bar chart but I want the axis the other way. So I will swap the axis by clicking here and you will see we have sales from January 2018 to December 2018. And let me expand the view and make an entire view. So we have a clear picture. And in this case, I want to see it by product. So you can choose whichever dimension you want. In this case, I want a product name. So I'll bring the product name into the filter shell by just dragging it and I will select all of them and select OK. Once it's there, I would right click on the down drop down arrow and will say show filter. So what it will do, it will create the product name list, filter list on the right hand side. And here I can do a bit of customization and I can go to customize and select apply button. So that's, that's the best practice which I normally follow. So when you want to select multiple values in a filter, it will apply all of them in one go. And also, instead of getting that long list, I want to select it as a multiple value drop down list. So it's a bit neater. So let's apply the same thing again here. And first, these two product names, I will click apply, and you will see it's happening like this, right? And what we need to do, there are two tricks. So let's the number one trick is by right clicking on the order date and go and select show missing values. So what will happen if we do that? So let's click on that and you will see all the missing values between the first bar and the last bar it appeared. But if you noticed before, we had the values from January 2018 to December 2021. So our first sale was made in May 2018 and the last sale was made in November 2021. So anything in between, whatever is missing, is coming through this way. But I want to see the values or the months which are not in this time range. So for example, I want to see December 2021 as well, or the months from January, February, March, April 2018 as well. So how we can do that? So I will go one step back and just uncheck show missing values. And I will go to the analysis tab at the top and then I will go to table layout. Here I will simply click on show empty columns. When I click on that you will notice all the months from January 2018 to December 2021 came into picture and you can see all of them even if 
there are no sales associated to it but it still shows you the zero or no bar for those months i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment in the section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for checking it out catch you next time